At Paolo's Pick, you'll find a diverse group of young men and women bringing energy, commitment, and their family recipes to a unique San Francisco dining experience. Live entertainment rounds out the special evening at the 1940s style supper club called Old School Cafe. As a correction officer in Southern California, it was hearing the stories of these young men that didn't have any hope to live past 18, that just didn't see any way out of the crime and incarceration. That's what inspired me to start Old School. Hi, my name is Teresa Goins, and I'm the founder and CEO of Old School Cafe. The vision was always that this wouldn't just be a place to come eat for a good cause, but the food would be amazing, as well as the ambiance and the entertainment and the service. I think they really knock it out of the park. Chef Kevin is just a light here. Besides being a great chef, he is a phenomenal role model and mentor, especially to our young men. Tammy and Jordan are two perfect examples of youth that have come through the ranks. Tammy does all the training and mentoring in front of the house. Chef Jordan runs the back of the house. The entertainment is all youth entertainment, and they get paid plus tips, and I really get a chance to develop professionally as an entertainer. Every cent that you spend here as a diner goes right back into the program. There are many ways that you can get involved to help us by donating, by booking private events here, and by becoming a regular diner. I consider our diners really part of the family because without them this doesn't work. I would say the culture here is really our secret sauce because you can definitely teach skills and run a restaurant but my heart is that they really heal from the inside out. When they leave here, they don't just have a skill, but they know that their life um, has great purpose and they can do great things. Paolo, this spot has such a remarkable story, doesn't it? Yes, uh, Teresa Goins uh, was a former LA corrections officer, wanting to help the community, wanting to help the youth that were at risk in San Francisco and she opened up a restaurant, and the food is fabulous. It's a variety, it's like Cirque du Soleil. She has comfort food, soul food international there. Did you find uh, was, the experience incredible? I, I was blown away. I mean, I've been dining in San Francisco for years and years and years, and I found the restaurant to be fantastic. I think it's very special what they've started, the, you know, her vision to that. give at-risk kids a chance and to learn a trade. But what really makes this restaurant special is the food is great. And if you want comfort food, the real deal, with fantastic flavors served with passion and love, this is absolutely the go-to place in San Francisco. I, I hate to even say this on, on air because I'm not going to be able to get in now. <laughs> <laughs> but it is really yeah. a very, very special place. The, let's talk about the ambiance. I mean, how many restaurants can pull off a 1940s kind of speakeasy vibe with the cool red, you know, wallpaper yeah. and, and the beautiful and the singers, entertainment they going? Got kids yes. singing. I walked in and they were yeah. playing the entertainer on the piano. When I walked in, I was like, wow, okay, this is going to be interesting. Yeah. And then the food delivers. Again, there's a lot of restaurants like this around the country that are kind of like social help in the community, but not a lot of them get the food right. And, yeah. and this restaurant ha delivers. And let's talk about some of the dishes because many of them are named after. Um, the employees and and so they bring their family recipes to the restaurant and uh, Chef Kevin works with them to create well, the who's final this, dish. Who's, who's Abu yeah. with that recipe? Uh, that's right. <laughs> Abu's, Abu's, Abu's <laughs> peanut butter, right? Peanut red. butter yeah. stew. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I can still taste it on my palate. I mean, that is something that I'm going right. to kidnap Abu and have him cook every Sunday afternoon in my house because <laughs> that, that is... Talk about hearty and rich, oh, right? Yes. Exactly. Whoa. And I had the, the shrimp and grits dish. They have a macaroni and cheese dish. Very this good. is absolutely yeah. amazing. I don't know how many cheeses they use, but you could definitely feel the layers of right. different flavors of cheese. Right. I wow. love this place to the point where I've been back I've gone a couple of times really? and I've referred a couple of people. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. This did, was did my you have the, the peanut butter stew? I did not have the peanut butter stew, but I did have the gumbo, mm. which was awesome. Like you said, the food is to die for. I mean, it's really good season, great. We had the greens and we had the catfish. And let's talk about the, the shrimp and grits. I mean, you went back three times. My husband, he's from Alabama, so um, he, when he saw that, he was, whoa. And the funny thing is he had tried to make it like a weekend before that and it was horrible. Uh, <laughs> so, we, so Chef Kevin came out yeah. and it was just, just as nice as, as he could be. And he, I said, can you give him some pointers? And he gave the rest. He said, you know, the funny thing is, I don't do the cooking. Yeah. It's all done by the kids. I mean, I just felt like I was at home. Yeah, I had the same exact experience. The shrimp that I had was, they were very large, they were succulent, mm -hmm. they were prepared perfectly, they were fresh. The grits, which I very seldom have, were absolutely fantastic with the, with amazing consistency, cooked to perfection. I mean, the, the layers of flavors in the grits, that smoky infused flavor in the grits really set off the dish nice. It didn't overpower the shrimp. You could taste the seafood for what it was. Yes. Great, great dish. Let's talk about the service because they're also training. Our server, we were his very first table. He had never 
served another. That's great. He was our, and I couldn't tell. Couldn't oh, tell. Yeah. And when he told us that, he said, you're actually my very first table. He was so professional, so friendly, so, and if he didn't know something, he said, I don't know. I'll be right back. Let me check for you. Yeah. And I was really touched by, there was a testimony, how the program really touched his life. And I was, and they really I was sitting with tears all in my the, eyes. All I the loved diners it. into that story. Oh, every I loved night, it. Through the music and through, you know, getting up and talking and interviewing um, servers and people behind the line. I mm -hmm. absolutely loved it. Dessert? Dessert? I didn't. Ha I didn't. Ha I didn't. Ha <laughs> I, didn't I was so. I mean, the food was so good. I think I ordered a second set of the chicken drumettes, which I thought were just perfect. And because I saw a fried chicken going to another Go, table. Yes, said, exactly. Well, I, I may have only room for the drumettes. <laughs> I can't go for the full order fried chicken. But send me the drumettes. And they were fantastic. And so, if the drumettes are any indication of what the fried chicken's like, it's absolutely a dish to have. It, they, they, they were just perfect. And did anybody try the uh, lavender cheesecake? <laughs> You've been waiting wanted, to get to this dessert. I, I'm telling I you. wanted to like, say that one first. I want the dessert I, first. first. Oh, yes. please, I want the dessert first. Yes. It, uh, <laughs> I told me you had to there's, wait. <laughs> no, there's fresh strawberries on it and with a balsamic sauce on it. Uh, really delicious. Um, it's done really well. And I have to mention, they have a small wine list, but there are some absolute gems. You can have a fantastic white burgundy for less than $70. And they have a handcrafted, I think, non-alcoholic menu that I we did a hand-squeezed lemonade, and I think there was a cranberry drink that night that they were doing tea. as a special. And they have a sweet, sweet tea, which was delicious. So they're doing a lot of really wonderful things in that bar. And it's an amazing amazing yeah. amazing story thank you for bringing it to our attention and yes, it's your you. restaurant so wrap it up old school cafe it's a great place that supports the community uh, fantastic food cooked to perfection and a great atmosphere and entertainment and you got to try the lavender cheesecake <laughs> all right and scott amazing soul food Cook from the heart. I would absolutely recommend it. I'm going back next week. Okay, and Rojan? I'm joining him next week. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I agree. It's the place to be. I wish they were open more, seven days a week, 24 hours. <laughs> I it's a place to be. It's really a wonderful place. All right, if you would like to try Old School Cafe, it's on Mendel Street, just off 3rd at Oakdale in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-822-8531. It's open for dinner Thursday through Saturday. Reservations are recommended, and the average tab for dinner without drinks is around $30.